Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about how to get out of the friend zone. Now a lot of guys ask this, how to turn a friend into a girlfriend. Maybe you've been friends for years, maybe you've met a girl and you've tried to pick her up, turn her into something romantic, but she said let's just be friends. Either way, you're in that situation where she's your friend and you want something more. The first very important thing to think about is that it's not so bad to be in the friend zone. To have lots of female friends is much better than being a guy that doesn't have any female friends, that only hangs out with other guys. That's likely to maybe make you a little bit weird, you won't understand women so well, so it is good to have women friends. But of course there's situations where you're friends with a girl and you want something more. The first thing to understand about this is to understand the psychology um, behind it and understand why women want to be friends with you, what they get out of it. So. She's in the situation where she's got a guy and she knows that you're attracted to her because when you meet her, you look at her like this and when she calls you, you can talk to her and listen to her and give her advice with her problems and you'll pay for the drinks and you'll buy her dinner and you'll oh, smell her hair and all of these things that show her that you like her. It gives her that attention and it makes her feel good. If you think about it, in her life she probably has trouble with men from time to time, she argues with her boyfriend, but you're always there, you're always going to treat her well, you're always going to look after her, give her that attention and she wouldn't want to lose that, she wouldn't want to change it. That's why she wants to stay friends with you. If she wants to find a guy um, as a, to have a, a relationship with or if she wants to have sex with a guy, she's not going to do that with you because she doesn't want to ruin that really cool relationship she's got with you where she gets everything she needs and she gets all of the attention and she feels really good from it. So you need to change things up. It's quite similar to the situation of turning a girl, um, an ex-girlfriend, getting back your ex-girlfriend. It's kind of similar to that because you need to um, break the pattern. So when you speak to her, you're going to do things a little bit differently. When you're speaking on the phone, you're going to be busy and she's going to be in the middle of the story and you're going to say, listen, I've got to go, I'm, I'm cooking something, it's going to burn, uh, I'll talk to you another time and you're, you're the one that ends the conversation. When you're genuinely busy and you can't meet her, you don't meet her, you treat her like your other friends, you don't make time especially for her. When you meet her um, in a bar in the night or a coffee shop or for dinner or whatever you do, you treat her like a normal friend. So you say, hello, nice to see you, and you give her a hug but you pat her on the back. When you're sitting there with her, you give her some attention of course, but if a, a hot girl is over there, there's no problem looking because you're just friends. She shouldn't object to that. You can talk about hot women that you see in the environment and you can talk about dates that you've been on. You don't want it to be too um, obvious like you're trying to get a reaction but if it's something that's going on anyway you should just mention it and you shouldn't worry and you shouldn't censor your thoughts just because you're, you're actually after her and you don't consider her as just a friend. You can even tell her Oh wow, look at those girls, you know, wait there a second, I'm just going to talk to them quickly, I'll be, I'll be right back. You can ask her if she's got hot friends that she can introduce you to. So you can do all of these things that um, basically show that you're a guy that is in demand, that is interested in women and again you're showing her that you're moving out of that zone which is the zone where she thinks that she can have you anytime she wants, that all she has to do is say look I want to be with you and you'll jump and you'll be with her. So you're moving out of that orbit. When you do that, when you move away, just like in any push-pull situation, she's going to start to work more. So she might wear sexy clothes, uh, she might drop something and bend over, she might ask you um, if her clothes are too revealing, you know, if her bum looks big or something like that to make you uh, check her out and think of her in a sexual way. She might try and make you jealous and she might try and do all these things. Again, in this situation, you want to ignore it and not rise to it. But you want to be aware and after a certain amount of time you want to create a situation where you're together one-on-one -on -one, 
Ideally, you've had some uh, glasses of wine and you're together and you want to escalate um, things physically but in a playful way. So you might say, oh, look at you, you're so cute, mm, like this. Or you might tickle her or you might play fight with her. You're going to do these things that are slightly sexual and the kind of things that boyfriends and girlfriends do, but they're not all of the way in that direction. So they kind of go unnoticed. And then there should be this moment in the interaction where you just stop and you look at each other and you have that sexual tension and then you can break it and then you can go back and you can give her a very quick kiss and then you immediately say, you know what, we shouldn't do this, this is wrong, it's so weird, we've been friends for a long time, why would we do this? And then you kiss her again and then you say, this is bad, we shouldn't do it. And all the time you keep moving forward and keep saying it's wrong. By being the one that raises the objection, she's likely to take the other side and justify why it's okay to try a relationship, uh, to try being romantic with you in this situation. So guys, that is how you do it. That's how you get into the situation of turning a friend into um, a more physical relationship. And from there, it's a simple step to make her your girlfriend. It's just more of the same, where you're always escalating, but always being the one that raises the objections. And you're putting her in the position where she's keeping working for you, instead of in the past, where you're the one that's giving her all the attention and working for her all the time. There you have it, guys. Um, I hope that works. Try it out and let me know in the comments how it works for you and if you have any questions. Thank you.